everybody welcome to another episode of car addiction today i'm gonna have to hold the camera like that because i broke the tripod and i was trying to fix it the leg came off in my hand i shouldn't be fixing any cars so if this is your first time in my channel what i do over here is i'm a huge nissan enthusiast i have an r32 skyline a couple of 300 zx twin turbo and an mr2 and i do not have an s55 amg anymore I sold it. Oh my god. I think I dodged a bullet on that one because my wife used it for a mat leave vehicle and see the link for the whole shebang of uh, AMG related videos. Now when she got back to her work she got a work vehicle and that one just sitting in my backyard and finally the air suspension gave away and I wasn't gonna fix it and I bought the Skyline all my money is tied up over, over here then I have an MR2 that I, 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 I need to address and I just wasn't gonna get to the S55. So finally I decided I'm just gonna pull the band-aid off and I'm gonna get rid of the car, which I did. Oh, thank God, now my back here looks so empty. Usually I will have six to seven cars, sometimes as much as I had eight cars, but now I got four. <laughs> yeah. A word of advice is if you're under the age of 21 years old, stop, watch a cat video, go get a girlfriend, snort some cocaine. This is an expensive hobby. I, being a car enthusiast is, is the same as uh, raising a family of crack addicts. So make your wise decision over here. We make bad financial decisions. We bleed money as if we're made of money. We're not, we just increase our credit card debt one day at a time. Today, we'll talk about brake pads. It's sticking with the braking series. So first video I made was I reviewed the StopTech brake fluid. And right after that, I reviewed a brake bleeder kit and how to bleed your brakes. Today, I'm going to review so the brake pad is the burnt toast looking thing that eases your brake rotor and stops you. Stops you from meeting your maker. So a little history with brake pads. So back in the day, brake pads were made of some sort of an organic material because earlier the vehicles used to be a lot slower and lighter. So when you slam your brakes and it squeezed hard, the vehicles didn't really generate that much heat. So an organic compound, a cork kind of material would be just sufficient. But that was the 1920s. These days, the amount of horsepower, weight and shenanigans we do on the road these old school cork or some sort of a rubber is not sufficient so when I was researching what pads should I buy for my uh, skyline project and uh, I didn't really have much money and I was on a really tight budget so you know uh, uh, the Brembo package uh, the Acabonos and even the Nissan OEM pads were out the window so I decided I'm gonna go with power stop I have used power stop in my Santa Fe in my uh, Nissan Xterra and prior to that uh, Kia Optima a couple of other years ago, so this is not the first time I'm buying a power stop pads, but previously all the pads that I bought were entry level, so a Z17 or even there's another one cheaper than that. This time I decided to go with more of a performance level pads and I went with the Z23 pads. There were one more pad on top of the Z23, but the major difference between these two pads were Z23 pads needed to be broken in and the other pads came pre-broken. And there was uh, about a $20 price difference and you guys know me. It would take me five minutes to break those pads. So I decided I'm gonna save that 20 bucks. I did buy two sets of pads because my 300ZX Twin Turbo does need pads and rotors. So, and so I installed one set of pad in my Skyline about two months ago. So far, I drove about 1500 kilometers and I drove hard. I drove, I used them. Let's put it that way. And that's why today I decided I have a wee bit of experience on my shoulder to talk about these pads. Carbon fiber and ceramic high temperature threshold to resist brake free during extreme driving. Quiet, low dust formula, shims made with dual rubber layers over constrained steel to eliminate noise. Premium stainless steel hardware kit included, with high temperature ceramic lubricant included with every set of pads. I have been driving like this and I barely clean the rims, but I do want to let you know that just because these are black, matte black rims, you may not see the brake dust as much as prominent, but you can see these brown stuff on it. They are all brake dust. So if you can see brown stuff on top of black matte black rims they have a quite a bit of dust so uh, and also I make them work I really do so um, you know just because uh, they have their dusty in mine may or may not be dusty in yours because I do make them work on the other hand I did not use a stop take a, a slotted and drill rotors I just used a OEM rotor for this vehicle which is coated that so that these areas they look nice they don't get rusty the reason being 
Oh, bunny. The reason being, I don't necessarily believe in drilled and slotted rotors. There's another video why I don't believe in them will be coming with a lot of engineering stuff. Wait for that. In my opinion, I did not have any track days with it. I daily drive it. I do canyon roads and I drive them hard. Every time I warmed up the pads, these pads got better and better. All right. So by any means, these are not a track day pad. But for a daily driver, a heavy duty pads, they take my take mine. These are not a track day pads, but for a daily driver application, I approve them. These pads are super easy to install. If you see my skyline restoration process, I think I had a four minute time lapse, which is about an hour to install the both the front and the rear pad. So they go into the OEM slots, super easy without any shenanigans. Even the hardware kit it comes with, they are made to perfection. So they're amazing. One thing I'm going to tell you is when these pads are cold, so first thing in the morning, uh, if I slam the brake a little hard, they do squeak a little. And it's just because they have, they are a little bit on the performance side of it, uh, a high performance brake pads squeals like no tomorrow. These pads do squeal a bit when it's cold, but once they warm up, you won't really hear them. They are actually pretty good. Now, I did mention these pads needs to be broken in. It is a very important process, okay? How are you breaking these pads? First, you install them. After that, you pump your brakes. If you don't pump your brakes, your brake is gonna be smooshy. And when you really need to stop and you press your brake, it's not gonna stop you. And you're gonna meet the guy upstairs. And I don't know if you are, I'm not ready to meet the guy upstairs. Anyway, how you breaking your power pads? Especially on these pads, you accelerate to 40 miles an hour and then make sure there's nobody behind you. you slam your brakes. Slam your brakes and come down to 10 kilometers. Accelerate again uh, at 40, slam your brakes, come to 10. Miles, I'm talking about miles, I'm not kilometers, miles. Do it three to five times. Your pads and rotors will be super hot. You may hear a little bit of smell from the brakes. That's okay. Now what you shouldn't do is, let's say you're coming to a stop and you just did that cycle or you did, you're did. you in the middle of the cycle, you come to a stop, that's bad. Because what's gonna happen is the braking process, when the pad heats up, it leaves a layer of brake material on the rotors. And if you stop while the pad is doing that job, where the pad bites and it's holding that because you're in a stoplight, it will leave a lot of brake material. What may happen is next time when you press the brake, you may feel a little bit of vibration on the brake and you may think your braking system is not performing as good that my friend is a problem so it, during the breaking process make sure you go to a nice open road ah, earlier in the morning or around this time of the day when there's less traffic on the road take your chance and get them broken in thank you for making it to the end of the video if you like what you see hit the subscribe button and the bell notification a lot more awesome stuff coming in and the next video i'm going to make is going to be a car quest branded pads yes I bought them and I've been using them in my Santa Fe for a good last 60,000 kilometers. Watch out for that video.